okay, this is going to be take four on this video today. How's everybody doing? I'm doing fantastic. It's me, Lisa, and I'm back. So today's video, I'm obviously trying to do a makeup look. And um, I'm using the James Charles Morphe palette. So I'm going to get a lot of use out of that thing. Um, and I'm trying to be creative and, uh, you know, I'm feeling pretty inspired. So I decided today for day three of my Vlogmas, which is what I'm going to call it for now because I can't come up with a new title for it. So for day three of Vlogmas, um, I'm inspired to do a, like a starry Christmas night type look. I don't know, like going out for, to a really nice Christmas party or something like that. So I'm using, uh, some, a lot of blues. I'm going to be using some purples and I'm just going to create the look. Um, but before I get started, or should I say before I pick up where I left off, um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification. You won't miss any of my content and give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. If you don't, that's fine. But if you do, share me, share me with the world. Okay, so I have gone in on the crease line with uh, the color Cola. And then on top of Cola, I have put um, Brother right up in here and blended it in. And then went in with Hello just above that to blend in uh, the rest of those other two colors and then took a uh, flashback right up here in the brow bone. So I'm not done, but we're going to, we're going to keep going. So, um, I've already of course primered my face and put the foundation on and of course done some, uh, contouring, which my contour is old as the freaking heels, but you know, and I know you're not supposed to use makeup past its expiration date, but back in the day, they didn't have an expiration date on makeup. They didn't put any kind of expiration date on makeup. So, you know, um, I, I know they do now, but I don't know. I mean, so far I'm living, um, haven't gotten any kind of a disease and died. So I'm still here. Um, and I've been using old, old makeup for a very, very long time. Um, until I got this palette, of course. So, but I am still using, um, the same, uh, foundation, uh, that I always use the Rimmel foundation and, uh, put some concealer on as well. Um, and a little brightening, uh, through here to brighten up. I know I still have bags under my eyes. I, I need to get some sleep and I need to drink a lot more water than what I'm drinking. But today I'm drinking some Starbucks coffee because... It's delicious. And it's like ambrosia of the gods. That's what it's like to me. This coffee is like ambrosia of the gods. I love it. I'm heavily addicted. Mm -hmm. Not ashamed to say it. So, okay. Well, um, anyways. Um, also, don't forget. Uh, I'll be linking it down in the description. My Starbucks December giveaway. Doing two giveaways this time around. Uh, for the holiday, just getting in the holiday spirit and giving away a couple of things. Um, so if you're interested and you want to enter uh, to win it, all you have to do is go back to that video and just follow the instructions and you'll be entered to win. And the giveaway is going to be on the 17th. So, okay, back to what I was doing. So I'm going in with the cola in the outer corner. Just a touch. And I'm blending that in. Gosh, that looks so good. And you know, I haven't used blue since I was in grade school. And so blue makeup, blue eyeshadow has come a long way from... The early 80s, late 70s. Oh, the blue was so frosted and icy looking. And I don't know, it was horrible. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do a cut crease with the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer 
number 245, light. It's not focusing. It's my day today. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay. And um, the last time that I used this palette and created my little peacock look, which kind of came out looking like a mermaid, um, I used this to cut my crease. And you know what? It did a fantastic job. It really did. I had no issue whatsoever with using this. And I used a uh, pressed pigment on it as well, and it turned out just fine. So, uh, just, just so you know, um, and I am not a professional at doing any of this, but just so you know, it worked. And it didn't smear, it didn't make the color come out ruddy looking or anything. It actually looked really good. Got to grab some more. And I'm about out of this, so I need some more. And of course, I'm not sponsored by any company that I am using. These are all products that I bought with my own money. I would love to be sponsored. I would love PR, but, you know, I'm just a small channel, so... Maybe one day. Maybe one day. All right. Cut the crease pretty good there. Gonna let that dry just a touch. All right, I'm going to go in with this little liner brush right here, and I'm going to start lining underneath my eye while we wait for that to dry. And I'm going to go back in with the cola. I don't know why people hold their mouth really, really weird when they're working on their eyes, but I think everybody does it. You know what? That brush is not working. That's okay. I have some others. And of course, I'll be smoking this out, blending it out. I'm just going to bring it up just so it connects. <sighs> Whew. I got some droplets. Or some dustings. Some fine dusting. All right, I've lined it, and that feels like it's almost dry. Probably have to go back over that with a, a little more foundation or whatever to cover it up because that's insane. And there, now you can see it a little bit better. I have not, and that just doesn't look right. So let's touch it up, pack in that color, cola, mm-hmm, all right, okay, and then I'm going to go back in with sister right through here. And then back with hello one more time. And use it to blend. Oh, 
Oh, Lord. And the cool thing with makeup is you can always fix it. You can always correct it. You can always do whatever you need. All right. And if you see the color payoff right there is real strong. It's because my brush is a tad wet. So that is not the color's fault. That is not the product's fault. That's my brush. Uh, I, you know, little water just to kind of like, you know, get the color off as I'm switching back and forth between shades. So that brightness right there is due to having the brush being a little bit wet. So don't get mad. Okay. So now I think what we should do is go in with some gold right through here. And I'm going to go for... Let's go with, I just don't even know what color I want to go with. I've got a couple of different golds here. We've got wig and we've got so good. And then we've got face. So face is a little bit lighter uh, than so good. And so good is a little bit lighter than wig. So, hmm, i tell you what. We're going, I'm going to put down, I'm going to try anyways to put down a uh, playground right underneath the cola. Just right here, ever so gently. Do I know what that word means? No, I do not. Okay, let's go in with the magnifying mirror. All right, that looks nice. Move that mirror out of the way. And then let's go with, I am getting some fallout, but that's expected because it's a different type of, um, process since it's pigmented it's you know it doesn't have all the other binders and things that go with making eyeshadow to make it actually stick i do find that a lot uh in uh, conjunction with using pressed pigment over a normal eyeshadow is i know people like had a huge hissy fit over um the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, one of the palettes, having fallout, you know, onto the cheek. And that was a big deal, which is so ridiculous to get worked up over that. Because I noticed that with pressed pigments, they are, it's what it is, just a pressed pigment into the pan. And it's not, um, it doesn't have all of the other binders and stuff that come with making eyeshadow for it to stay on, you know, to just swipe smoothly on the eye. So to lose your mind over the fact that you get some fallout from it, that's been happening since the dawn of time and makeup being made and them doing, you know, making pressed pigment over um, an actual eyeshadow. So I don't know why people get so freaked out over stuff like that because it's easily corrected. You can, you know, clean it up and you're fine. So, okay. Um, now that I've got that, uh, playground laid down, we're going to go in with some gold right there, but I really want it to pop. So I think I'm going to go with a tune. It's a really pretty, uh, like more, uh, muted yellow. It's not as bright as B and I'm going to go right into it. Mm 
and right into the corner with it. Man, that's gorgeous. Now I'm going to take this brush right here and I think I'm going to go into um, So Good, which makes a great highlighter as well. Get the color on there. And I'm just going to pop that right over the top. Give it some shimmer. You know what? It's not shimmery enough. I need to go in with something. I, I tell you what, I'm going to use, I'm going to do what he does. And I'm going to put some setting spray right on there. I'm using my NYX setting spray. And let's pick up some of that color. And see if that really pops that gold right into the center. I, you know what? I'm going to try it with my finger. Oh, yeah. Definitely some gold. Pack it on, pack it in. Man, I'm picking up fuzzies off my towel. Yeah, that looks pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my white pencil I'm going to line my, my lower lash line, and that really brightens up the eye. Makes the eye look a lot whiter. Okay, that's done. So far, so good. No interruptions. I'm super, super stoked about that. Okay, I'm going to go back with Playground under the eye. And I am just popping that right over the top, but kind of above Cola. Okay. I really wish I had like a bright white eyeliner or even the Jeffree Star lipstick, the white one. I can't think of the name of it for the life of me right at the moment, but um, it, great to like paint on some stars. That would be so pretty. I don't know if this one would actually work. If it's, you know, decent enough, but I may be able to put a few dots up in there. Okay, so I was interrupted once again. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm putting, um, I'm, I'm, I can't do stars because this is too fat of a tip to do it. And it's just not looking right. So we're going to do go right back over that, cover that up. See? Mistakes you can cover up. No big deal. Not a big deal at all. Okay, so now I'm going to pop in um, some face. With ring light right into the inner corner of my eye. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And just kind of bring it down. Okay. 
and I just kind of want to add some more to the bottom line, but um, you know what? We'll go in with a little bit of hello. And we'll just kind of give it that frosty, smoky look. I don't even know if that's working. Yeah, there we go. Even my lashes are just like glimmering gold. It really is beautiful. All right. Now we'll go in with ring light right over the top of flashback here at the top because I really want more shimmer up there. And you can see that I have blue and I'm going to grab some of my foundation just to touch and go over back over that. And bam, it's fixed. It looks fantastic. You can still see my dot of white eyeliner on my eyelid, which was not my intention. Okay, so I'm going to finish this eye, and then we're going to come back and finish the look, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished uh, this eye, and I decided to add a little bit of a galaxy look right here on the temple and the top of my forehead. And I did use uh, the colors... Um, Mm, don't know them by heart yet, but uh, I used Single, I used Artistry, I did use uh, Brother and Cola and Acapella uh, up through here. I also used a little bit of Pinkity Drinkity and Skip. Um, and then, of course, I went in with the gold color, So Good, um, and, you know, just kind of highlighted everything up really well. Um, I don't know if it's coming off as muddy or ruddy for you guys. But uh, that's the look. And I thought since I did put some purple, it looks purpley up here. And then I've got this blue moment with gold uh, there. I'm going to go ahead and with um, a little bit of purple on my eye as well. So I'm just going to go into single. And I'm just going to dust this right on the inner corner area. And just bring it up just a tad. Just work that in. All right, and then we're going to throw on, just kind of blend that in some, I've made it a little dark, oh gosh, but it is fixable. All right, let's go in with artistry right on top of it. And then I'm going to go in with a little ring light and soften that. Okay. Got now. Now I didn't contour my nose or anything like that. Uh, this time around, not going to worry about that, but I am going to take a little ring light. I am going to go down the bridge of my nose and just give it that highlight and just a touch on the end. Mm hmm That's pretty. Okay. And then we're going to go in with some blush and I am going to use my NYX 
blush, if I can locate it pretty handily. If not, we're going to go in with Peach Shade and just give it that lightly kissed look. If I can find, well, there it is. There's the NYX. And of course, this is Baked Blush Illuminator and Bronzer. I've never used pink as a bronzer, but there's always a first time. And, um, okay. I'm the queen of misplacing my brushes. Mm, don't know what I did with it. All right. Well, I officially um, have lost my mind. That's what I do. I lose everything. How? I don't know. Um, everything is sitting in front of me. It's in front of my face. By the time I'm done with this video, I will have found it and go, uh, dummy, it was right in front of you the entire time. So I'm moving some things around. Not seeing it. So I am going to take a, an e.l.f. blending brush and I'm just going to do the, I'm going to do the blush with that. I'm just going to swirl it over. It is a bright pink, but you don't need a lot and you just have to lightly swirl. Oh, that's so pink. Definitely going to dull that down some. Okay, let me grab a little powder to take care of that real quick. Mm. See, that's what I don't like about contour. I'm not very good at it. Okay. But, there's the basic look. Give me one second. I'm going to throw on some lashes. All right. Lashes are on. So sorry about that. Lashes are on. And for the final step... We're going to put on some lip gloss, lipstick. This smells so good. And this is the Vivid. Oh my goodness. Vivid Hot by Maybelline Lacquer. It smells like candy. It smells delicious. <sighs> okay. Mm. So I've got that on. And just to give it just a pop, a little definition, I am going to go in with acapella. And I'm just going to pat it on. Just a light pat. And I have always used um, eyeshadow as, uh, you know, just something to do, just a little extra for my lip look.
and I lied when I said that that was the final thing because the final thing is actually to do a little highlight and we're going to go in with face and ring light and just give us a little glow even though I've got glow all over my face. You can't run from the glow. You cannot run from the highlight. This is part of life. And then we'll take a little bit of ring light and just pop it right over the top. Just a little sugar. Mm. And that is my finished look. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know what you guys think of the look. And I'm going to just pull my hair down really quick while we've got a moment. And sorry, I my husband sent me a Facebook message picking up the 14-year-old uh, basketball. Probably wanting to know what I need if I want anything. Let's do it this side. Yes, my ratted nest of hair. All right. And that's the finished glamorous look. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's bouncing again, of course. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And don't forget, look in the description. You will see uh, the link to the video for um, my coffee giveaway for December. Make sure to like it, comment, subscribe, share it. And, of course, the keywords to comment below uh, on that will be in that video. So, um, this is my little, just a little starry night Christmas look. Uh, going out on the town, um, you know, going to a party, maybe a masquerade party would be something really fun to do. Um, and let me know what you guys think of the look. Here's the final look. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.